going folks thanks for joining me today we're gonna be going up Cane Mountain in the snow I brought my snowshoes turns out I'm not gonna need them I didn't think I would I figured just in case with the trail conditions the way they are I'm glad I didn't even bother with my skis but uh it's not too bad of a mountain it's like 0.6 miles the trail is there's a there's a fire tower up at the top and it should be a pretty nice view I'm, I plan on uh, catching the sunset up there and the sun will be going down pretty quick so well it'll probably be going down I don't know about an hour so I got time to kill Folks, check this out. White tailed deer tracks. Got some on this side, some on this side. That looks like a pretty big deer, actually. Just walking his way up through the mountain here. Cool. Um, typically, during the this time of year, if there's a lot of snow, the deer, they yard up um, near me. They yard up in Benson. That's probably the around right here. That's about where they would, should be heading once we get more snow. And they yard up for shelter. They go to places where there's more food and better shelter to, to make it through the winter. Because the winters are typically pretty tough. This year they've had it pretty easy. That's why you still see deer tracks all through the woods. But give it a month. Give it a month. There won't be too many deer around. They'll be all yarded up and they'll probably be over in Benson. Yeah, look at There's another one. So, yeah. Guys, I'm gonna get hiking. Killing daylight. See you guys in a minute. Some needle ice for you. It's weird in the winter time how it formed. Okay. Oop. It comes up out of the ground. It came up out of the ground in this footstep and then hit this crust right there. It's pretty neat how that formed. In nature. All right, well, we got one more push, you know, one massive uphill push before we, it starts to level out, and then uh, you have to go uphill one more time a little bit, and we're at the top, so we're killing daylight. The sun is 
really starting to go down now, so so I'll see you guys up at the top. Alrighty. All right, folks, we made it. We are at the summit of Cane Mountain. If you look to your left, you'll see there's a little old ranger cabin right there. We'll take a walk over to that. But the real deal up here would be this. We got the fire tower. We're heading up that in a minute too. All the way up there. It's got an antenna. It's a, oh, I think it's a weather station. And it might be a ham radio relay too, actually. Anyways, let's take a walk over to that ranger cabin real quick. I want to get up to the top of the tower. So we're not going to spend long over here. But we'll check it out because we're here. It's going to be a gorgeous sunset when we get up there. See people living up here with snowshoes and whatnot. I didn't see any point in wearing snowshoes up here. Um, yeah, it's a shame. Tons and tons of graffiti. Basically, it must be the thing to do. But if you come up here, you should vandalize it. At least that must be what all the cool kids are doing. Whoa, there's a door. I think that's the door to this room. Look at this, though. It's kind of having... It's one thing kids write their names or carve their names. You know, but... Come on, dude. What the fuck? You kidding me? That's just stupid. But, yeah, years ago, a ranger would have been staying up here. He would have been stationed up here. Uh... This here would be the probably the bedroom, and then this would be the your kitchen slash living room, office. You know this whole little room here. This is 12 by 16 maybe, and then this here is probably dry storage room. And there's wood. There used to be a wood shed, an outhouse. I don't know where they are, where, where they were. They are back there someplace, or on the other side of the cabin, over that way. Yeah. So, this is the inside of this cabin. Most of these uh, mountains that have a tower on them, they, uh, there we are. They all have a uh, ranger cabin on them. Because these were fire towers. Back in the days before satellites and all that stuff, you know, they would actually have rangers at these cabins keeping an eye out for uh, for forest fires. These are all fire towers. So let's head over to the to the fire tower. And there she is. She's a big one. It's cool. That, uh, it gets narrower as you go to the top. So it gets kind of sketchy. You know, like, especially if it's windy, the whole thing creaks. But, if you're not, it is lagged securely to the ground. See what I mean? It's it narrower and narrower as you get to the top. You got three planks. Down there you got four wide planks. And you got three narrow ones. Just up here. Like with a pack on going up this thing, or any of these towers, it's kind of a pain. Yeah, they're just getting narrower and narrower. Till you get up here. Oh, would you look at that? That's beautiful. Sorry for any wind noise. It is, uh, it's breezy once you get up here. This, uh, this tower doesn't have any glass. 
a lot of them do have glass, but this one don't. See for miles. Pine Lake over here. That's Stewart Lake, maybe. Right. Right in there. Right. Maybe. That doesn't look right. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to look through the screen. And, uh, yeah, that's Stewart Lake right there. Yeah, Pine Lake right there. Uh, we got Green Lake right here. Canada Lake. I think that's just part of Canada Lake. You got Stewart Landing way, way down there. Way, way, way over there. Was that right there? I think that's West Lake, that little guy right there. Or even maybe that is over there. I forget about all these little ones over here. It's getting windy. But yeah, for sure, you can see for miles. I'll shut up and uh, let you guys enjoy the view. Alright, well, it's starting to get uh, get dark. I'm going to head back down. So I don't have to hike down in complete darkness. At least until I'm, you know, down in lower elevation. It's cold and windy up here. But, yeah, the tower's pretty high here. Check this out. Whoa. I want to fall. Alright, but it was a nice little hike up here. Hope you guys had a good time following me up the mountain here. And, uh... I don't know. Catch me on the next uh, on the next little adventure. I got a couple of bush class videos I'm going to be posting. And uh, next week's my daughter's birthday, so we'll probably go cross country skiing or snowshoeing, her and I. So we'll probably record it, you know, put up a video about it and whatnot. So, so until next time, you guys uh, stay cool out there. Catch you later.